Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing out there? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. It's your girl Twin D and thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for your support. Now let's give God thanks for bringing us here together, safe and sound, alive and well, one more day. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Then we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Alright guys, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on with your divine masculines here. Well, masculine or feminine energy right now. We're going to be looking at everybody. I forgot. This is a sign reading. So Capricorn. <laughs> let's see what's going on with you or your person. So please keep in mind this energy that I'll be receiving could either be the masculine or the feminine energy. And I'll be doing the all signs afterwards. One, one, one. Oh, my Christmas tree. <laughs> the three of cups. I'm sensing celebration. I'm sensing achievement. One, two, three. I'm sensing accepting one's path, which is a path to that success. The High Priestess. Internal transformation, internal guidance. Someone is learning something about themselves. Someone is making decisions. And this decision involves their heart and their connection to God. A change. This person has been fighting battles. And it's like they're repairing. Repairing what was damaged. Finding out about themselves. Repairing what was damaged. Oh, jeez. Could be cancer with the high priestess here. I have an air sign. Water sign. The king of swords in the reverse. This person is torn. This person is angry, upset. I think this person is finally seeing themselves for who they truly are. And it's like they're not happy with what they see. They're not happy with what they see. There is definitely some conflict here. An earth sign with the empress. There's definitely some conflict that this person is going through, some battles they are fighting. This person is trying to get some peace within trying to settle themselves trying to return to themselves return to their true self you have the seven of wands yeah their heart was broken they were hurt in the past. They were going through a lot of battles and struggles in the past. They really, really lost themselves in the past. Could be dealing with a fire sign here. There's another air and water. We have all the elements. So this person is moving on. Leaving this past behind that hurt them so badly. This person was torn. But the good news, they're moving forward. They're no longer remaining 444 in that energy. They're no longer remaining in that energy. Let me.
They're looking for balance. They need balance in their life. This person is really looking for some balance here. Yeah, there's too much conflict here, Capricorn. There's too much conflict, whether this is in you or your person. And I'm getting it may be a divine feminine because you have my empress here. That is trying to find themselves, that is struggling with finding themselves. Struggling to change, struggling to heal, struggling to let go off of the turmoil, off of the struggles, fighting with themselves. Yeah. Fighting with themselves. They are the ones keeping themselves stuck. They're allowing the past to hold them back. Nine of Wands. You gotta stand up. You gotta, you gotta make your mind up. You gotta make that decision. To take that last stand. To open up your heart. To, re to be ready to welcome love, to be ready to welcome your counterpart. You gotta have a clear mind and an open heart. Clear mind and an open heart. That's when your balance will come in. That's when your balance will come in. But this is you right now. This is you right now. And you got to get rid of this. You got to get rid of that, sister or brother. Let's get some clarifications. What can you tell me about this three of cups for these Capricorns, please? Princess of Swords. Someone is definitely trying to change your perception here. Some oh, boy. Sorry about that. I don't even know if you notice, but <laughs> the cut, my my video got cut short because a call came in. Sorry about that, but let's continue. Your person here. Oh, this is for the three of cups. See, I, I'm even distracted. Oh boy. This person is definitely trying to gain some answers here. They're keeping an eye out. They're seeking answers. They're trying to find answers. Because they know they need to change. They know they have to go through this transformation. They know they have to go through this transformation. They know it. Because they know that their heart is nowhere in that place to receive love right now. Their heart is in no place to be receiving love right now. So they're trying to find themselves with the high priestess. One, one, one. All these cups. They want their emotions to be filled. Because right now their emotion, mm, mm, mm. It's, it's empty. It's feeling empty. Capricorn, my lord. Empty. Feeling sad. What's this king of swords in the reverse, please? Yeah, man, you got to get back in that energy for your person. That's exactly what I said. They know. And for some of you, you're angry because this situation ended here. So you're holding on to this pain and you're holding on to the pain from the past. See again, that struggle, that internal battle you're fighting. Blocking off your heart. Tell me about this Empress, please. So you may be dealing with an Aries there. That Empress, like I said, needs to wake up and see the bigger picture. You need to start to look at something more differently, more clearly. You need to start to just get rid of all those things from the past. That's what you need to clear out. That's what you need to get rid of. You need to start to focus on yourself. You need to be loyal to yourself. 
instead of allowing what people have done to you in the past and what you have experienced in the past to hurt you. I always say this to people. You are there sulking and lying down in your bed and you don't want to move and you're hurt. This person hurt you. That person hurt you. And you're in your room, your house, not moving, not doing anything. But take a look outside. Isn't that the same person that hurt you yesterday running up outside playing with their dog and cat and, and everybody else? Isn't that the person who hurt you yesterday with a big old smile on their face, eating ice cream with their kids and walking up and down and jogging and playing music and having the fun of and the time of their life? 333. Three, three. So let me ask you something. If they could treat somebody so, so badly and still be happy, showing happiness on the outside, what, what, what's the matter with you? Why, why can't you be showing happiness as well? Why are you going to allow the person that hurt you to be happy while you are there in your negative energy feeling like crap? You know why? Because it's in your mind, the eight of swords. It's in your mind, it's what you allow. That is what occurs. If you tell yourself you don't want to stay in that bed, you will never remain in it. If you tell yourself you want to go for a walk, you will never stay in your house. So it's not the person that hurt you that is keeping you trapped in your sorrow. It's yourself. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll become that empress. Capricorn, this is not nice. Tell me about the seven of wands here for these Capricorns. You're holding on to things. You're holding on to things that should be completed, that should be thrown away, that should, you should let go off of. Things that mean you no know good, things that will not serve you, things that are vanity. You're holding on to stuff that you should have let go a long time ago. Memories. Memories of the past. Memories of the past, where it's like your heart was broken. Memories. My God, Capricorn, it hurts a lot to hold on to anger, man. I can't manage it. I don't know how you're doing it. I have no idea how. It hurts. It makes my head hurt to think about anger. And it's hard to do, but guess what? It's only hard to do because you say it's hard to do. Remember, it's what comes out of your mouth that you manifest. You first think about it, then you say it, and then it goes out to the universe, and then you get it back. So you're going to tell me it's hard to do, it's hard to forgive, it's hard to let go, it's hard to love yourself. That's because you are making it hard. It's only hard. Because you're holding on to it. It's, that's why it's hard. You're holding on to it. No other reason. Balance. You need to balance your life. You need to balance your life here. And when you start to do that, everything that you desire will come into you. You're giving me a cancer. Everything that you want and need will come into you. You gotta complete those old cycles. You gotta let them go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. My favorite song. Turn around and slam the door. This is what you are busy thinking about. The loss that you went through. The loss that you went through. For some of you, it's a lack of finances. For others of you, it's that dream. It's that dream of having the life that you want, the, the, the family that you need. You gotta complete that cycle. 
and move on. See, you're obsessed with feeling sadness. Like, are you kidding me, Capricorn? It's your energy. It's your energy here. It is showing, it is coming out. This is you. Hear about these three of wands for these Capricorns. Jesus cream. Well, at least there is one good card. You're scaring change. So that's the fear inside of you that's keeping you stuck and keeping you holding on to whatever pain you're holding on to. You don't want to move on. You don't want to move on and then what? The person comes back and you're not there, so what? So what? Is there only one fish in the sea? You tell me, is there only one fish in the sea? Same energy. Energy has not changed. You're angry. You're angry. These are the things you should leave behind. You're angry. You had the four of cups in the reverse, now you have the five of cups in the reverse. Let it go. Let go of the hurt, let go of the pain so you can move forward. You gotta start to put some love into yourself. You gotta start to elevate yourself. You gotta start to put the hard work into you. That's the only way you will attract what you need, what you desire. Because you're giving it to yourself first. If you're not putting any work into yourself, you won't have a counterpart. You won't have that blessed union. You won't have that peace, that joy, that happiness, that prosperity, all that's flourishing. Because you think God is going to send his pure, true love into you. And when he sends his pure, true love into you, the hatred and the hurt and the anger inside your heart is just going to consume it and swallow it up. Thank you very much. No way, no how. So you got to open up that heart. You got to start to give yourself the love that you truly need, you truly desire, you truly deserve. You got to give it to yourself first before it can happen on the outside. Because you got to feel it, think it, speak it, manifest it. Leave those things behind. Walk away from them. Make that decision. Make that change. 1111. 11. Get ready for a brand new life. The same thing we started with. So get ready for a brand new life, guys. See that? Rise up. Be the Empress. Balance. Three and three. Spiritual balance. Emotional balance. Physical balance. Mind, body, soul. My God, manifest your desires like I was saying, guys. Gemini energy. Oh my Lord, this is reverse, right? Capricorns, Capricorns. And I'm getting that was the feminine energy right there. Honestly, that's what I was feeling there. Now let's see what's going on with everybody else. Capricorn is dealing with an Aries. Let's see what's up for you guys. Capricorn is dealing with an Aries. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
king of pentacles there's somebody manning up standing up working on their pentacles working on their stability yeah there is somebody's working on their stability somebody's moving forward somebody's moving forward somebody's planning on a return somebody's coming in with their heart in their hand that balance i was talking about the head and the heart see that there's balance coming in for you capricorn z with an aries mm -hmm. whatever you want whatever you were looking for and desiring is going to be manifested somebody was putting in the hard work here your person is a hard worker as well this person is trying to get over that deception that they went through they're trying to see a difference you're trying to see a difference they're making a change they're making a change you're standing in their power and your person is making that change your person is already prosperous there's prosperity coming in for you guys your person is single abundant prosperous and so are you Capricorn is in with a Taurus Somebody walked away from something here. Tradition, values. They're fearing change. There's something that you need to walk away from, but you're fearing change. You need to heal from the situation, but you're fearing change. Yeah, that's how you're going to get your happiness. That's how you're going to get your happiness. Thank you very much. The sun and the moon. Make it a balance. You gotta get a clear mind you gotta get a clear mind here sun and the moon balance oh jesus yes i'm always shocked balance that's what this person needs to do you need to drop a burden here what's the outcome please for these capricorns dealing with the taurus yeah, somebody's heart. Ooh. Somebody's heart needs to be open. Somebody's heart needs to be open. Seven of Pentacles and the Temperance. Somebody here has got to learn to meet their person in the middle. Somebody has got to learn to start to view things differently. Somebody has got to learn to see that things are growing, are flourishing. But the only way they can see that is if they open up their heart. Because right now they are not opening up their heart. Mm -mm. They're struggling. They're battling. They're battling. They're battling. That's the only way there's going to be action. That's the only way that there's going to be forward movement. Once you get over that battle, that struggle, you got to get this in the upright. A rebirth. When it's in the reverse, that's fear, my friend. Fear. Capricorn is dealing with a Gemini. No action. No movement. Oh, God. Ooh. You know something's not over here. You know something is not over. You know something hasn't been completed. But well, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck. You want to move forward, but you're feeling stuck. You want to express yourself, but you're feeling stuck. Somebody needs to be putting in some work. Somebody needs to start to pay attention to their finances as well. What's the outcome, please, for these Capricorns dealing with a Gemini? Move towards your passion, desires, and dreams. Manifest your passion and your dreams. Move towards that brand new beginning. Take that opportunity. Move towards your abundance. Three of Cups. Celebration. Happiness. And that transformation. That's what you get when you transform, when you overcome all those struggles. When you focus on your desires, on your happiness. When you take those big old opportunities that are presented to you. Because they are presented to you, but 
you don't take them. You don't take them because your heart is closed off. Because you're angry. Capricorn dealing with a cancer. Let's see what's up for you guys. Ooh la la. Two of cups. Somebody's rushing towards fulfillment. Towards harmony. Towards completion. Somebody's gaining a clear and a sound mind right now. Somebody's analyzing things and they're coming out with answers. This person's heart is opening up. This person's ready to communicate. Yeah, they're happy. They're ready to communicate. They're feeling abundance. They're feeling that abundance. Yeah, man. They're moving forward. They're not stuck in, in the past. Stuck in, in the past. They're not being stuck in the past. Six of Wands. They're feeling that victory. They're feeling that happiness, guys. Oh, hallelujah. Awesome. Awesome. A change. Thank you for that change. Thank you for that change, Father God. Yes. Okay, look. This was flipped. So you have the four of pentacles. This person is holding on to their prosperity. This person is holding on to abundance. This person is not letting go. They're not letting go. They're leaving everything else in the past and they're moving on because they sense their happiness. It's right there. They sense their happiness and they're moving towards that. Capricorns in with a Leo. Let's see what's going on for you. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. There's balance coming in here. Oh, there's a commitment. There's a commitment. You two are burning for each other, guys. Yes, this is awesome. This person may have walked away from you in the past. You may have thought you have lost this person in the past. But oh no. Oh no, baby. They're coming back. Wow, Capricorn dealing with a Leo. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. <laughs> Leo. That's your energy. Leo, you may be returning to someone here or somebody returning to you. The star. Healing, communicating your truth, filling your own cups. Mm -hmm. There's victory here. You've been through healing. You've been through healing. Yes, changing that perception, changing the way you look at things and the way you do things. You're approaching someone here and it's going to lead to prosperity. It's going to lead to stability. It's going to lead to your abundance. Somebody may be getting a new job as well. And that's going to bring you what you need to move forward to the love of your life. Capricorn's dealing with a Virgo. Let's see what's up for you guys. Five of Cups. You're in this sad energy. You're in this sad energy. You know why? The cups that you thought would remain full and be there to back you up and support you, they're the ones that spilled. They're the ones that spilled over first. Without any effort, they spilled over. So now you're trying to find yourself because the only cup that's left here is your cup and the cup from your person from the past. And you're wondering why. You thought. You thought these other ones were the one. But look at that. Who is seeing more clearly now? You're seeing so much more clearly right now. 2211. Your spiritual change is happening. Spiritual changes. Spiritual connections being gained. A transformation is occurring. A transformation is occurring. You're, you were in your head about this thing. 
and the two of wands you're planning on moving on because you need to be fulfilled you need your happiness you're gaining that strength that you need to make that decision what's the outcome here for these capricorns being with a virgo or a virgo with a capricorn yep there's love coming in there's love coming in something that was ended here it's like it's coming back around dropping a burden you had to release something yeah too much battles too much struggles too much fight that you've been through so for some for some of you it was a, a another another situation here a relationship that you were in that you had to release because there was too much struggles so you're moving towards what you desire that commitment you are seeing the light you're seeing more clearly getting out of that energy where you're battling with yourself Capricorns dealing with a Libra let's, up, let's see, let's see what's up for you guys okay somebody's refusing to move here they're conflicted somebody's refusing to move They're conflicted inside and in their mind. They're conflicted. Mm -hmm. They're conflicted. So you need to get that balance back. You need to get that balance back. You're deceiving yourself. Someone may have deceived you in something here, which is the reason why you're so conflicted. It's about your passion and desires. That's what you should be focusing on. Because you want to move forward, you see that brand new beginning, but there's confliction. You want to go, but you're conflicted. You're in your head, I tell you man, your mind can play some tricks on you. But that's all it is, tricks. You need to go within, you need to find your true self. You need to wake up, you need to see the light, you need to find your true path. The star. You need to heal. You need to heal. There's a lot of things that you need to heal before you can really find yourself here, before you can have this brand new beginning. You gotta make those impossible choices that you thought you would never make. You gotta make them the difficult ones. Capricorn is dealing with a Scorpio. What's up for you, Capricorn is dealing with a Scorpio? King of Wands, okay, you're waking up. You're waking up. You're waking up. Because guess what? You didn't want to move forward, man. You didn't you didn't want to make an offer to this beautiful thing right here. You you didn't you didn't you didn't want to make an offer. But it's like now you're seeing, oh my god, what a big old mistake I made. What a big old mistake I made. You were holding on to vanity, but there you go. You're letting it go. You're letting it go. You're going to find that passion and desire inside of you. And you're going to decide to let it go. Let go of a vanity. You're paying attention now to what's more important. The person, their heart, their soul, instead of vanity. This person may have been in like a high position here. So they were holding on to that. They were holding on to that instead of the person that truly loves them. So there's going to be some celebration, happiness. Happiness is coming your way. What's the outcome, please? Yeah. They're taking that leap of faith. Mm -hmm. Happiness is coming your way. And when that comes in as well, abundance. Ab oh, Jesus. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, your victory is coming. You just got to clear your head. You just got to wake up and see the light. Capricorn dealing with a Sagittarius. Capricorn dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's see what's up for you guys. Queen of Cups. In the reverse. You're unhappy. Yeah. You are unhappy because something left you 
Oh, jeez. Look at that there. This is, as I was telling you, it's in your head. It's, it's in your head. It's just tricks being played on you. Look at all the abundance and possibilities that await you. That hurt, that pain that you're holding on to is a thing that's causing, it's causing that mental entrapment, that block. You can't see your prosperity if you don't take that blindfold off. When you start to use your eye, your third eye to see, then your mind can't tell you any crap. What's the outcome here, please, for these Capricorns dealing with the Sagittarius? You gotta open your eyes, guys. You have to open up your eyes. And the only way you're gonna do that is if you take the blindfold off. Because your hand is free. Your hand is free. Your hand is to their face. Your hand is free. You're just busy in your mind. In your mind. Blocking off your abundance so your abundance can't even start. Because like I said, God does not and will not send his beautiful unconditional love into your heart where it's filled, of ter filled with turmoil. Where it will be squished. You got to open up the heart and you be ready to receive it. There's a second chance. Oh, excuse me, guys. There may be some communication coming in for you. Somebody is trying to communicate here. Somebody's gonna start to open up and connect spiritually. And connect spiritually. Yeah, there's gonna be a spiritual connection here. First the High Priestess, Hierophant, and the Moon. There's a spiritual connection that's being opened here. This person is going to go deep within themselves. This person is going to go deep within themselves. And they are going to come out victorious. Because this is the single and abundant. Oh Jesus, see that? See how God is awesome? They're going to come out victorious. Prosperous. Getting that second chance, right? Capricorn is in with a Capricorn. Let's see what's up for you guys. Nice. You're working on yourself. You're working on achieving that happiness. You're giving yourself justice. You're balancing your energy out. You're balancing your energy out. You were in sadness, happiness, sadness, happiness. You were going back and forth. You were going back and forth. You're letting go off of something that is keeping you stuck. Yeah, it's destiny. Whatever is happening here has to happen. And then you'll be able to move forward. Passion, desire, making that offer. Ooh, making that offer. You're abundant. You're standing in your power. You're seeing the truth for what it is. You're going through massive changes. And it's time to reap your rewards. Those changes that you're making, that enlightenment that you're getting, that justice that you're giving yourself, is you connecting spiritually and achieving what you desire and want. Capricorn is dealing with an Aquarius. There's something that you put to an end here. There's some, you may have met this person at work and this situation between you and your person. Um, somebody ended it. Somebody ended it. You found your love. But somebody ended it. Yes, there was a separation. There was a separation. Yes, but leave it up to God. Leave it up to God to bring things together. To bring things together. Somebody may be going through the dark night of the soul here. And what they're going through is going to bring about changes. Changes. Breaking free. Changes. And then speeding things up. 
speeding things up things becoming more clear things becoming more clear Capricorns dealing with a Pisces. Let's see what's up. <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> Let's see what this change is all about. This inevitable change. Yeah. <laughs> My guy is awesome. It's that change. That inevitable change. That flip from being one person to being a brand new person. Yes, letting go off of the sorrow, letting go off of the sorrow, the third party situations. Somebody may have also may, may have um, lost their job, but I'm getting that this is for your best. This is the best thing that's going to ever happen to you. Because you're being prepared for something new. You're being prepared to go somewhere else. You're being prepared. <laughs> Okay, you know what was gonna what's gonna be what was gonna be said right there. Th this is when the messages are coming in. Trust me, guys, they get so twisted up and entangled. I can't say everything at once. Getting ready to pour your heart out. That change to take that leap of faith to break free from the barriers, overcome those difficulties. See that? Yeah. A change. Ending the deception. Breaking free from the deception. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Cause whatever you were going through, that deception that you were facing, that was internal, made you feel insecure, made you feel less of a person, made you feel like you won't achieve anything. With Capricorn or Pisces here. Move towards your destiny. Move towards your destiny in peace. See the truth in this situation. And be ready to pour your heart out. See that things are going to be revealed. You're going to see how you can stand on your own two feet. You're going to see how losing that job was preparing you for one that was going to make you more prosperous. There are hidden things. That are happening in our lives but we just gotta let it flow 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 don't keep stuck don't keep stuck you're almost there you're almost there don't keep stuck please don't keep stuck don't keep yourself stuck this has been your message, Capricorns. I do hope that it helps you guys. Take care of yourselves. I love you all. And I see you at your general message. To purchase my book, the link is in the description box below. And to purchase anything from my store, the link is also in the description box below. To keep track of what I'm doing and um, all the changes I'm making, please go to my community tab. You can just click on my logo and it will take you to my page and they will show you on my community tab when I post whatever changes I'm doing and all of my wait what 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 would you call it I don't know but I put the information there as to the changes that are happening take care of yourself guys love you all let go and let God later